So we have this users page here where we show all the users. However, what if we want to restrict access to this page? At this moment, we only have one type of user. We only have authenticated users that can log in if they are already registered, or they can simply register and then log in. What I want to do this time is to use middleware to restrict access to this page. If the user is authenticated, then accessing the page is not a problem. If the user is not authenticated, then we want to do something. We can redirect the user to the login page, for example. So here, I'm not logged in and I can still access this user's page. So what is a middleware? Imagine a middleware as the police. Suppose you want to travel to another country. You go to the border and you give them your passport, or whatever they might need. And they are the person that will tell you if you can continue your journey or not. This is exactly what a middleware does. If you do not satisfy the requirements, then you will be redirected back. A middleware consists of three steps. You create the middleware, you register the middleware, and you use the middleware. So, let's start with step 1. I will run PHP Artisan Make Middleware I will give this a name, Authenticated Middleware And that's all. If you now go to App HTTP Middleware You can find the newly created middleware here, Authenticated Middleware so here we have only one function, the handle function. This function will handle the requests. So when an HTTP request enters your application, it will go through middlewares. Laravel already has a couple of middlewares, which we will see later, and now we also want to include our middleware, the one that we just created. So let's think about it. At this moment, we are the police. So, a GET request comes to the application and requires the user's page, and we tell to the request well, wait a moment, because we have a restriction for this page. Let's see if you pass the requirements. Since this is our first middleware, we will keep it very simple. Let's check if the user is authenticated. So, if auth check. Make sure you also import auth, so use auth. Okay. So, if the user is authenticated, then the user passes the requirements and can continue with the request. Otherwise, we want to tell to the user that please go and log in, and this is a simple redirection. So, return, redirect, and we redirect to the login page. I am not authenticated yet, so if I go to users, I can still access the page. This is because we have the middleware, but we have not specified for which URI or route this middleware applies to. But that's step 3. Step 2 is to register the middleware. Go to your Sublime Text and open kernel.php. Make sure you open the one inside HTTP and not console. Scroll down to Route Middleware. Here we will register the route. As you can see, Laravel already gives us a middleware to check if the user is authenticated or if the user is a guest, which is again this one. But that's fine, we pretty much recreated the auth middleware in a very basic way. Anyway, now we have to register the middleware that we just created. First, we need to give it a name. Authenticated, I think, is a good name for this middleware. Then we specify the path to the middleware. So, up HTTP middleware authenticated middleware class make sure you do not have any spelling mistake in the path. Alright, so we created the middleware, we registered the middleware, now we need to use the middleware. Open web.php. We want to use this middleware for the user's page, which is this route right here. So let me clear the code a bit so it is more readable. Okay, I will also delete this uh, array here for the options, and I will keep only users controller at index. Don't worry about it, it is the same thing, so it works in the same way. So we want to apply this authenticated middleware to this route. How can we do that? Just say middleware and then you specify the name of the middleware which is authenticated. So whatever was the key right here which is authenticated. Perfect. 
This is all, we just satisfied all the three steps. So we created the middleware, we registered the middleware, and now we just used it. So let's find out if this worked. I am already logged out, so if I go here now to the users and I refresh, you see that we were redirected back to the login page. So let's try again, users. So it works. Of course you could use this middleware for other routes as well, simply because this middleware is just checking if you are authenticated. For example, we have this profile URI here, so if I go to profile, we can see this page. Well, let's also apply the authenticated middleware to this URI, so let's go to profile here and say middleware authenticated. Let's go back. Again, the same thing happens. Excellent. Of course, if you log in, you should have no problem accessing these pages. Let's try it. Copy an email. and try to log in, the password is secret. So if I go now to users, no problem. If I go to profile, again, we do not have any problem accessing these pages now because we are authenticated. Of course, you could also use the auth middleware that comes with Laravel, which is this one right here. Instead of using the custom authenticated middleware that we just created. So let's try this. It is not any kind of big difference. For example, let's do it in the profile. Instead of authenticated, which is the middleware that we created, just say auth. The result should be the same. So if I go here now, of course, we can access this. However, if I log out, then we try to access profile. We are again redirected back to the login page. So both middlewares work in the same way.